October 2021. It has been, as I always say, the cliche, a roller coaster of a month. And I'll show you a graph why. Have a look. But what I really want to go through today is take you through the numbers, the details, the breakdown of how I have progressed for October 2021 for my eBay store and selling on eBay or selling online predominantly. I've been doing this for a good 42, 43 weeks now and this month alone has had its challenges. There's been some really big highs, some really big lows and if you have been following along on the weekly journey, a lot of this you will hear already, but there's a few extra things in this video which help you understand what a month view looks like. I will go through the flow, the best sales, the things that didn't work, all the lessons and all the things that I need to improve, but I will also be showing the business side of things as well. You know, there is always the pay-per-view that we see for eBay and what you sell and the dollars, but when you add it all up with all the expenses behind the scenes and actually operating as a business, sometimes you can be surprised. So we'll touch on that too. Of course, there's lots of other little things along the way. So this is my income report or my financial report for eBay, October, 2021. Let's jump into it. So kicking off, here we have progressed. We have done a pretty good month, a lot better than uh, September. So we've actually sold less items, 189 compared to 193. Uh, total cost of items was around $411. This is the items that I sold. And average cost per item was down by 22 cents. Total revenue being $4,174. Uh, this was up by about 5% compared to September and average sale price being $22 up by $1.59. Total fees and post um, or things at my cost, basically it was a big $1,079, but it has come down about 29 cents. So average around $5.71 per, um, per sale. And just to be clear here, this includes fees and also promoted listings and also includes the postage that I paid out of my pocket that wasn't paid or covered by the purchaser or the buyer. And then the big one, total profits for this month has been $2,658, which is up by, I'm just looking at the screen, is 5% up by 5.16% and margin was just under by about 0.13%, but basically the same. We did 63.7, I think last month we did 63.8 something. So pretty solid month some good lessons to take away from this there's a lot of things pointing in the right direction and i'm excited to dive into november and see how we can progress but october had its challenges it, it was not easy but we'll, we'll touch on that so here is a, a zoomed in view a bit more of the detail of averages and things like that so you can see total sold cost of goods sales post cost fees profit and all that jazz and you can also see down in the list below of what items were selling the most books being number one um, in terms of profits, most quantity sold was DVDs, which makes sense because books and DVDs are the things that I've been listing and selling and sourcing. Pokemon cards has been quite a big number for this month, but I don't really want to harp on too much on the Pokemon cards because that's not everyone's joy. A lot of the other stuff, books, DVDs, toys, collectibles, video games, clothes, all that jazz, everyone can usually get their hands on. There's some interesting stuff here. You know, I've sold some shoes, some CDs, some tapes, a, a lot of few different things. So. It's been a pretty good all-rounded month and the key thing is the margin has been big. The margin has been up there and pretty consistent compared to last month. Top five items sold. Now, if you have been following along the journey, some of this will be not news to you and you would have seen it, but I like to just to take the five top items across the month and, and break it down for you. So we had some full drive DVDs. These cost me 77 cents and made a profit of $59. Xbox 360, this was from a big bundle deal way back from the start of the year, which I didn't realize I had from some electronics. Cost me $1.26, I kid you not, $1.26, because um, it was lotted out. Uh, sold it for 70 bucks with $55 profit. A graphics card, this one was my own from my own stash and electronics. Uh, sold it for $50, $41 profit. Also a shirt, which was my own, um, sold it for $45 with a $35 profit. And... If you would have seen in my recent video, it, I said it was a higher profit. That's because I've now applied the adjustment of fees now that it's been the end of the month. And it actually was a lot more fees because, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, and then a Canon camera that I, I got for free from someone moving down the road for $39 and $34 profit. Zooming through that because a lot of you probably have seen it. And I want to be also very transparent here that there's a lot of zero cost items here. How I get those items is either I've thrifted from home, being in lockdown this month, I've had to find alternative ways to source, so things that I didn't want, things that I didn't realize I had, and things that, you know, clearly I can move along. Just adjusting the light. And things that I can clearly move along. And then the other one is asking people, connecting with people, building relationships, and 
some of these stuff, like the, the Canon camera came up, someone that was looking to just get rid of things because they're moving. They need to get rid of it. And I said, I'll take it. I'll take it. And they're like, oh, do you don't know if it works and all that? that that's fine, right? You know, that's my problem. That's not their problem. I'm getting it for free. And if not, I could sell it as parts not working anyway. So do, do leverage this. So some cool items for this month. Um, nothing spectacular in terms of dollars, but... This Polaroid camera also I got from those people moving. Um, that sold pretty quick actually, $36. Didn't really know much about it, couldn't test it and things like that. So yeah, that's once again, there's always an option to sell things a little cheaper. It was zero cost, so pretty easy. Two Dodo plushies, sold them for $30 on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so no fees on this one, but it was just finally good to see them go. I've had them for a very long time, but people, people buy a lot of stuff. And then an X-Men X -Men comic, just cool to sell an X-Men comic, um, hadn't sold the comic for a while, and another $30 item, so you know, there's a nice little $90, $100 here of just some random different items, so it's more just to share and show you what does sell. Flops for this month, actually, it's been pretty good, uh, usually I like to share here just, you know, what didn't work in terms of sales, but really only had one item with a 0% profit, a couple of other items there where I got like 29 cents, 38 cents, all in all, it's been pretty good. We're going to touch on the wins and lessons in a moment. So the wins and lessons. Well, th there's a few points here. So I've pushed through. There was a bit of a, a challenge here with mentally just because, you know, it was grinding it out and trying to push through, not being out of source and just doing the same thing over and over again. Lots of DVDs, lots of books. And I cannot complain because I've had plenty of stock. But when you're listing $7 items, $5 items, it's just it's just not encouraging, right? Because they're not things that are going to sell instantly. They're not exciting things to list. Some of it was, don't get me wrong, but it, it really was a grind. And pushing through, I think, was a win because it took me a while to get through. It also forced me to source differently. So reaching out to people, going down, looking at hard rubbish, I was able to get quite a few free books and things. And I think that's where... The difference is, is if you are listing seven, eight, nine dollar items, and then maybe they're paying five dollars, ten dollars postage, whatever. If your cost is zero, it makes it so much more rewarding. Those things I enjoy doing, uh, just because it's free money. So I had to pivot, had to adjust, and change my mindset. And I had to take a bit of a zoom out and do this mindset reset and really understand what's going on, why things weren't working. And it was a challenge, and that happened a lot in September as well. But October, I I tried to make sure I. I you know, got back into gear, got focused, got it done, right? And we did, we we got a lot done. And the lessons for this month was, yeah, that zooming out, I think if you are getting overwhelmed, if things aren't working, zoom out, have a look, take a break, see what you can do to refresh, to reset, to change things up. The other big lesson has been connecting and networking. And I was fortunate enough to get at the end of this month, a big bulk deal of video games, which that came through my own network and through my own connections. And I'm super, super thankful for that. And that is going to change how I'll operate and how I'll continue to, I guess, source going forward as well as I want to go thrifting. I want to do all those sourcing opportunities, but at the same time, some of these bulk deals and getting these bulk deals are so much more rewarding and can give you some more items to tick over and the thrifting might just become a bit more of a, a way to have some fun, reward myself, and, but I don't have to rely on it. So my mindset is changing around that as well. Analytics for October 2021, we had 488 items listed, $134 was the average daily revenue, we're up by about $2, and average cycle time was only 34 days, uh, which has come down from about 37 and 45 from the prior months, which is, which is nice to see things ticking over a lot quicker. Here's that monthly low view, and I, I quickly showed this earlier, just so you can see this perspective. Why I call it a roller coaster is because you start going up, you go all the way down, and then you go all the way up, and then you go all the way down, and then you go all the way up, right? And that's what it's all about. And you need to be able to battle that because that is why it can be so overwhelming. One day you're earning $10, one day you're earning $300 and, and everything in between. So that is why I call it the roller coaster. So here's a year to date view from January all the way up to October. I can't believe we're already in October, but it's been a pretty progressive year, pretty progressive months as well. As you can see, the margin being the key thing but it's continuing to grow total sold is starting to grow and it's starting to get consistent obviously august was my best month let's see if we can beat that before the end of the year we've had that journey of starting to increase over months so you know january february march april may june and then july august and then we dropped and then we're starting to crawl back and it's all part of circumstances it's all part of situations it's all part of how you operate and how you play the game so some people would have earned more than this some people would have earned less than this and i'm not here to say that look at me and i'm not here to say that oh i could have done better or i could have done worse i think 
there's always room for improvement and there's always things that we can be learning from other people. And that's why I document this, is to share and, and, and show where I've come from, how I've grown, how it's changed. Just because I earn $6,000 in one month doesn't mean that's what I get every month. And this is that evidence. I'm excited to once again, see what I can take from this month and apply it for next month and see how we can continue to finish the calendar year strong. Obviously we'll be working towards a, a better financial year as well, which we're gonna to touch on in a second. But here's the, the rolling view in terms of a graph view. So you've got sales in black, revenue in green and profit in blue, just so you can see it is a roller coaster. So the business view, and I just want to make sure that people understand that, you know, everything I show here, especially around the profit first stuff, this is an exact, right? This is just to help you understand the mentality around it. You know, if I earn $4,000 in um, October, how that would be split out, but we'll go through that in a second. So business view, so as you can see, July, August, September, and October, this is looking at financial year 22. And last, the first month we started at 40% margin. We went down to 27% margin. Then we went to 35% margin. And this month, October, we've come out with a margin of negative three. We've made a loss. But once again, this is from an accounting view. And the reason why is, as you can see, under new stock, I have paid up for a lot of things this month. Um, and that includes the video game haul and other stuff as well. So because that comes out from a business view, it's not necessarily what you see on the eBay view because I don't list it's not what you see on the eBay view because it's only when you sell an item that you see how much did you make off that item. But this is actually my cash flow view. This is actually my business operating view. And this is important for people to understand that you're not going to have a, you know, a working profit every month. This month going into November, I should have a pretty good profit because I don't need to source now. I've got a lot of items that I can start to sell, um, heaps of quantity of stock, and I've still got some more to pick up to be honest, which is this will get updated in retro but as you can see here if i don't spend anything in november well obviously my costs are going to be lower and i'll have a higher margin but this is what it's all about by the time i get to the end of the financial year hopefully i've got a profit margin of around that between that 30 and 40 percent just because i'm operating the ebay store at a 60 percent margin that doesn't mean that's what i'm actually getting in my pocket because you have other expenses you have fuel you have cost of goods, you have cost of postage supplies, you have all that jazz. If you're renting something, all that. So you need to understand that and that's what this is for. Now, as you can see on screen, when it comes to profit first, when we take income, this is the money that has come into my bank account. Uh, so you need to be very mindful of that because $500 is my income, which then gets split out to 40% OPEX, 5% profits, 40% owner's pay and 15% tax. And that's the way I split it out. So this just gives you an example of how this would be. As you can see, it can be a little confusing because you're thinking, hang on, Chris, you've got revenue, you've got profit over here. This doesn't add up to that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't because I do my profit first on a weekly basis, which is why it won't add up. So what I've put here in the profit first perspective is just a running total of how much I've been paid out by eBay and how that cash flow is running. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out. But it is, once again, just an example, and it's not going to be to the dot. So that's it, team. That is October. It has been, it's been a pretty good month. Actually, I can't complain. It's been a very good month. And I'm excited for November, excited to finish the year strong. Uh, a lot of work ahead of me, and there's always lessons to take from this. My encouragement to you is to, when you are feeling down, when things aren't working in your favor, zoom out, take a step back, see how you can adjust and pivot, have a conversation with someone, and you know, we're all here to help each other. I'm here to help you. If you've got questions, more than happy to continue the conversation down in the comments below, or you can reach out to me on my Instagram or, or however. Um, I would love to be able to do that. And it's, it's a numbers game. It can be struggle at times. It can be mentally draining, but it's also a lot of fun. There's a lot of um, excitement and I love this. It's great. Every time there's something new to challenge myself with and I get very emotional with it, but at the same time, that's what I'm doing. It's my bread and butter. It's my blood. It's my baby. So appreciate you all being here. As I said, any questions, comments, let me know. Um, otherwise, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang and hustle. Ciao.